In video 18, we're going to be solving and graphing one step inequalities with negatives. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, take out your sheet. Make sure you take the first notes of the inequality rules and put the sign rules. Okay, and then we're going to do four practice problems, making up four um, problems for you to do on your own. Check at the end of the video. Okay, so inequality rules. Number one, okay, pause this video and write these down. Always have the variable on the left side of the inequality graph in the direction of the inequality the sign is pointing. Okay, if you don't do one, you can't do two. So you always have to make sure that your variable is on the left side. And um, to do that, we'll, we'll practice flipping the inequality so the variable is on the left. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, look at um, the, the rules for flipping a sign, okay, the inequality sign. When you change size of the inequality, we switch the sign. When you multiply it by by a negative number, we switch the inequality sign as well. Those are the two times. Some problems will switch it once. Some problems will switch it twice. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a couple practice problems. Problem number one. Okay. We solve inequalities the same way that we solve equations. Okay. So we're going to add negative six to both sides. Okay. So we end up with canceling that term. We have t is greater than negative three plus negative six is negative nine. Negative 9 becomes our key number. We put that in the center. So 9 is our key number. Now this sign okay, means that um, our key number is not a solution. So it gets what we call an open circle because it's not a solution. For example, if we put negative 9 in here, negative 9 plus 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 is not greater than negative 3. So it's not a solution. That's why it's open. Now, if our variables on the left, which it is, we can think about just putting an arrow there. And it's pointing to the right, so we're going to graph going to the right. Okay, so our solutions are something like negative 8, um, negative 6, you know, negative 7, all those are solutions that work. That's why we graph inequalities. So anything that's greater than negative 9 is a solution. Let's look at number 2. Add opposite. So we're going to add 5 to solve this, and we're going to get, I'm going to write it over here, r is less than or equal to 2 plus 5 is 7. So 7 is our key number. Now, our inequality sign is less than or equal to. So that means 7 is an answer or a solution. So we do something a little bit different. We give it a closed circle. Now, we graph the way the arrow is pointing. It's, um, it's pointing to the left, so that's the way that we're going to graph this. So any number or from negative 7 and lower, including negative 7, is a solution. Number 3. Well, if number 3, we're going to multiply by a negative number to clear this. We're going to have to multiply by negative 2. So if you multiply both sides by negative 2, okay, that means that that's one of the rules for flipping the sign that we have to flip the inequality sign. So this is going to clear out just like in an equation. We're going to get r. But since we multiplied by a negative, it has nothing to do with the number that's already there. But since we multiply by a negative, we have to flip the sign. So we flip it, and negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So 4 becomes our key number. Now it gets an open circle. Okay, And the graph going, going to the right because that's the way the arrow is going. Okay, if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the sign, the inequality sign. Okay, number four. Okay, again, we're going to divide by a negative. It doesn't matter what the number is already there, but we're dividing by a negative three. So we got to flip the sign. These cancel. We get m, and then we got to flip it. It's going to be less than, and then negative 33 divided by uh, negative 3 is 11. So 11 becomes our key number. It gets an open circle, and we graph going to the left. Okay? Now, pause the video. Do those practice problems at the bottom. Okay? And when you're finished, unpause the video, and you can check your answers here. Okay? Number 5 is n is greater than or equal to 4. Check your graph. And then number 6. 6, n is greater than 21. That's an open circle graph going to your right. Now, number 7, 
you have to flip the sign because we don't want negative A, we want positive A. So to change it to a positive, we got to divide by negative 1. Again, we're dividing by negative, we got to flip the sign. So a lot of you probably miss number 7. So check over that. Um, it's going to be, I forgot to write that in, it's going to be a open circle and graph going to the right. Okay, and number 8, we're dividing by negative 2, so we got to flip that sign. And 30 divided by negative 2 is negative 15. Okay, thank you for doing your homework tonight. Um, bring your questions tomorrow to class, and I'll answer them. Thank you. Bye.